everyone, it's Stardust Raccoon, and let's talk about what's in my shorts. As you might have seen uh, recently, I've gotten into some unboxings, and in part of that, I've been buying new underwear. My old underwear is old and outdated, and it's time to out with the old and in with the new. And going in with the new, I decided to hit up some furry creators. So as you've seen, I've unboxed them. Now let's see what I think about them. But I did purchase these at Midwest Fur Fest back in December, uh, mainly because they had a raccoon on them. And that's kind of what started me down the path of time to modernize the underwear fleet. The way I'm gonna rank these is by style, meaning the style and the material that these are made from, the fit, the price, and how they make me feel. And then at the end, I'll talk about my favorites. So Gabsheba's underwear, if you were to look at it in terms of style, is a 92% polyester and 8% spandex underwear that is sublimated to fabric. So that means it's printed directly on. It's a white waistband. Now the cool thing is on the very back, uh, there is a tail, usually per their character. They have about, I'd say, they have a lot of characters. I don't even know how many. But each character has uh, a tail on it. So if you order the deer or the raccoon or the otter, there is a proper tail on the back. And again, it's sublimated directly to fabric, which is somewhat nice in that it won't immediately run. It's not like a, uh, a, uh, a silk screen on that will fade over time. So these are clean. I can handle these. These are fine. Um, I've worn these and looking through their website, if you look through there, they have a lot of characters, but it's all the same style. So it, the accents might change. The color of the accent might change. I'm going to have to take my paws off for this. So as the, the character changes, the style doesn't. You can see these are just kind of spandex Superman underwear. Uh, that one style, there's one cut, two different pieces of fabric, uh, a rear end and a front end. These fit okay. Um, they don't make me sweat or anything. I do like the way they feel, uh, but these fit okay, but there's no support for, for Big Jim and the twins, as it were. But these do, these do cut it as, if you're only going to ever buy one pair of furry underwear and this is what tickles your fancy, then this is what you get. In terms of price, these are about 30 bucks a pair. So not bad, but not great either, especially if you... If you see them at a convention and you got the money, yeah, then it's kind of a value there. However, if you try to order from their website, shipping starts at $11. So not really, to me, the, the, the most economic of underwear. Passing by their booth and I saw these sitting there on the top shelf and I thought, ooh, raccoon underwear and it's purple. So that's Gabsheba. Looking through their website, they also do offer uh, t-shirts and hoodies and uh, hats and all sorts of different stuff. I do really like their stuff that looks like it's inspired by Akira Toriyama. Let's talk about Rudder Butts. Rudder Butts is a company that operates primarily off Etsy. I had a couple of pairs gifted to me from a friend and I had a two, two pair of their jocks and one pair of their briefs gifted to me. So I'm going to talk about both the jocks and the briefs. Um, these are incredibly nice. I like the feel of these. These feel, these are a polyester and elastane blend. It's a 92% polyester and 8% elastane, but to me it feels like cotton. So it's maybe I'm just a little rusty in terms of what uh, underwear should feel like. These are really nice though. I do like these in terms of style. All their underwear has the single rudder butt logo up front, but on the rear, it does have right above um, the Kraken, a little uh, double B logo for their butt logo. And this is their jock. I like these. I like the, the style of a, a jock that is also the brief hybrid where it, it has fabric that kind of goes over your thigh and I like this. Um, this is called Roar. The brief that I have is called Barely Legal. And you can see the print there. I like the pink and I like the bears. However, 
Uh, one problem that I have is what was ordered for me was 3X. And in the jock, the jock fits great. They don't fall down, they don't ride up. Obviously they don't ride up, but they feel good. Uh, the brief, however, in a 3X is gonna to have to remain for fursuits only because I tried wearing these the other day and they kept falling down. So if I order another pair of rudder butts from the company, I'm gonna to have to order a 2X or maybe even a 1X uh, just for myself to wear under, under my jeans or under my pants. But I do like the fit of these uh, well, while they stay up. In terms of price, uh, looking at their website, they're one of the least expensive. Most of their stuff starts at $20 in terms of their underwear, and it goes up from there, and they include tanks and swim trunks and hats as well. Uh, I believe the company's based out of Mexico, but they do business primarily on Etsy, and the Etsy shipping rates are fairly reasonable. Um, I like water sausages, but if I was to order a pair tomorrow, it would probably be the rudder emojis in the green, that's a brief, or trash pals in the uh, in a boxer brief. So rudder butts, if you're watching this and you want me to sample your wares, and you don't mind sending out a free pair of underwear to a lowly raccoon in South Florida, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you, and I'd love to get some uh, some stuff that fits so I could uh, give you a proper review in terms of your brief. Uh, however, your jocks fit amazing, and I love these. And they look great on a fursuit, too. How the rudder butts make me feel is I, I enjoy wearing them, but I do feel like I'm just wearing a basic pair of undies uh, while I'm doing, you know, my daily activities. They... Uh, don't feel any different from regular undies. They don't make me feel um, any kind of emotional response. I don't wear it like I'm not wearing them in public going, Tee, no one knows I've got an otter on me. Uh, and kind of the same too for Gab Sheba, but a little bit more because I felt like I was wearing a tail at least and no one knew it. Let's talk about Rogue Fang. Rogue Fang is a company that got its start on Kickstarter, and they're based out of Spain. They offer four different types of jocks and four different types of trunks. Now, I don't have any of the trunks yet, or the their briefs, or their, um, their shorts, uh, however they put it. Um, I do like the deer trunks. What I have ordered from Rogue Fang, though, however, is I've ordered the deer jock, and I've got the behemoth jock, and I just ordered wolf. And I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. I love the way they look. So let's talk about Behemoth. Uh, Behemoth is just a standard looking jock. And there's nothing really all that great about it, but it's just a jock. It is there to look, make you look sexy. And it's there to make you feel sexy. And if you look at it, this color is amazing. And the, the computer does it no justice. It is a neon yellow, greenish uh, fabric. It is super duper stretchy, super duper stretchy. And the waistband is all black all the way around, but you can see the little Rogue Fang logo right here on the leg strap. But each and every one of their jocks or their characters uh, has a logo that goes on the front and or the back of their brief. So here are the behemoth goes up front. There is no logo in the back for Behemoth. Uh, and I like the way these look on me and I like the way these make me feel. I do feel incredibly sexy in these. Uh, and these do breathe fairly well because of the material. In terms of price, they're a little expensive. In the United States, these start at about just under $40 and that's for the Behemoth jock strap and the Dragon jock strap. I don't have Dragon yet, it's on the to-do list. Uh, but I'll probably get Dragon after I get a pair of trunks. Again, Rogue Fang, if you're, if you're watching, hook a brother up. I like these, uh, but these are not my favorite, but I do like the product enough to where I've bought three pair of underwear three separate times. And let's talk about Deer. These are my absolute favorites from Rogue Fang. I love the color. I love how futuristic they look. It's like if Tron made a pair of men's undies. And they're my favorite style, which is a jock, but with that brief look on it. So there's a, a hole cut out for the bum with leg straps, but the fabric is different in a couple of places. So if you look, 
It's a uh, polyester blend up front. There's the deer logo up front, but also you have these side panels, which are mesh fabric. So you get a little bit of different breathability there, but these look great on you. These make me feel great. These fit wonderfully. Uh, the boys have a lot of room to roam around in here, but personal feeling, these make me feel fantastic, which is why I ordered the, the Wolf. Here's the downside though for Rogue Fang. If you're going to order any, order a bunch up front, order at least two or three pair. Their uh, packaging is made for that, really. If you saw my previous unboxing video, there's a lot of room in that package. There's a lot of packaging that goes along. I put them almost up there with Apple in terms of their product presentation, seeing as how they have to do it from overseas. Uh, but it's going to be about $20 or $30 in shipping to get it to you. At least it was for me. So, but I've ordered from there multiple times now. They have a really good product, and I really like their customer service department. They're very quick on shipping. I'm really looking forward to trying the Wolf. Uh, so, Rogue Fang is definitely one of the better furry underwear makers on the market today. If you're looking for something that makes you look good, something to impress your boyfriend, something to impress uh, your guy friend, this is something that you should look into. I really believe in their product. Nomad Complex is a company out of Canada. They offer not just underwear like jock straps or boxer briefs or trunks, but they also offer loungewear, they offer shirts, they offer tank tops, uh, a lot of great product out of them. They have stickers and they have this neat little thing called Rome Rewards where if you purchase materials or purchase uh, from them enough times, you earn points through their store, you can get little freebies. Like this is seven bucks in store, or if you order enough, you get a free little wristband. And this is uh, Canis Hibiscus. Now in terms of their product, I've ordered from them multiple times now. I've actually ordered uh, <laughs> a lot from them. Uh, I won't say how much, but they are de facto my favorite brand at this point. Uh, my whole underwear collection is slowly becoming them. I ordered these, the Trump, the uh, boxer briefs in Space Dog. And you can see they have somewhat similar to rudder butts. It's a simple repeating pattern that is really nice. And these were space themed. And normally I don't go for boxer briefs like this, long leg kind of a thing, because I also want to put these on my fursuit to look appealing, as you do as a furry. And boxer briefs are a little hard to do that, especially in Star. His thighs are about the size of the Death Star. So, but these looked great and I had to have them. So I bought them and I haven't worn them yet because they just came in the mail recently and I haven't hit that rotation yet. I haven't felt like I wanted to wear these. In terms of style though, these are really nice. You can see that the Nomad Complex logo is on the waistband. The material is super duper stretchy, 92% polyester and 8% spandex. So it is nice and breathable. It's uh, sublimated on, and you can see here, not only is it sublimated on, but the front of the boxer where uh, where the, the boys go, it's also double layered. So you don't have any kind of, uh, uh, you do get a little bit of extra support there with a, an extra panel. So that's nice. I like these, but let's talk about their trunks for a second. This is the first pair of trunks that I ordered, and I think I've ordered four pair now. I've ordered these, Canis Hibiscus, Foxhole, and a second pair of these because I love the Otter. Uh, this is called Baited. It's a simple repeating pattern of this Otter with the anchor and the fish, the fish. The style, very similar to the, uh, the Boxer Brief, it's just a little bit different cut for a trunk style but for the fit oh my god I love these these fit so well that right now what I'm wearing is Canis Hibiscus and I absolutely adore the way these fit they hug every contour they support me very well and they're not too hot I live in Florida so heat is an issue even if I'm not in fursuit heat is an issue I haven't been able to fursuit with these on underneath yet but I'm really looking forward to it price they're very inexpensive the boxer briefs are the the yeah the boxer briefs started at about 23 dollars 
trunks start at $24 and jocks start at $26. And I do have a pair of jocks I want to talk about, but I like these so much. I actually ordered a second pair. That's how much I enjoy these. These are great. Again, you get a, a second panel in here for support that is right against the boys. And these look great in fursuit just as much as they do out of fursuit. The Rogue Fang looks great in fursuit. We'll get to that all in a second. However, so the jocks are just a tad different. It is the same fabric. Uh, it is the same style that it's a double panel, but the waistband now says Otter on it. And it is a very basic jock strap. It's the pouch and the leg straps that, that hold it down. But these fit incredibly well. Now, I've been ordering 2X in the trunks. They only go up to 1X in the jock. So if I had one criticism for you, Nomad Complex, it would be make these one size bigger. Because in fursuit, these are a, a little... They're, they're containing a lot. I'm going to not lie about that. They're holding back a lot of fur and a lot of fat. But these look so damn good in fursuit. It's not even funny how great these look. And for the value, for the price, I think these are the best. Uh, if you're looking to get a jock anytime soon or, or trunks or any kind of underwear, I really think Nomad Complex is going to offer the best value in terms of uh, furry. Uh, easy second would be rudder butts because their, their underwear is inexpensive. But for me, personal feeling, I, I prefer Nomad Complex. I want to order more, though, from rudder butts to give them a better uh, a better review. Uh, I, I feel like my review might be a little lacking there. And they have multiple, I think I've already ordered Foxhole and it says Fox. Um, I've ordered the Foxhole Brief. I Like I said, I've ordered two of the Baited Brief. Let's talk now about all the companies mixed together, starting with uh, my four criteria that I talked about. Style, fit, price, and feeling, how they make me feel. In terms of style, I'm going to put Rogue Fang at number one. Rogue Fang has designed four individual product lines fitting four individual characters and split them amongst jocks and, and uh, briefs. So with that, each pair of underwear looks radically different than the last, whereas with Nomad Complex, Gabsheba, Rudder Butts, they all kind of fit this. They have the one design and the one design only and they just changed the fabric. Whereas Rogue Fang has really tried to make each and every individual product that they have look different. And I really appreciate that. So Rogue Fang is number one. In terms of style, I would put uh, number two would be Nomad Complex. Because like I told you, they have so many different styles, uh, uh, at least different prints of underwear that it makes it worth your while to at least look through their whole catalog. Uh, number three in terms of style would be Rudder Butts. Uh, they have kind of a limited collection. I'm willing to bet that they do the every year is a product refresh and that's kind of what they deal with and then they let that product refresh dwindle down until the next year when it's time to refresh the site once again. So Rudder Butts is going to be number three on that list. And I really feel like that's unfair to them because they are a good product. They are a great product. Uh, number four is going to be Gabsheba. And I'm just going to let you know right now, Gabsheba is probably going to pay place last in a lot of this, unfortunately. You know, someone has to be the loser. Someone has to be last. And it's Gabsheba. But they also offer the most in terms of different characters. So if you're a hyena, a deer, a bear, a wolf, a fox, an otter, a raccoon. They have it nailed out of the park covering you what you want. In terms of fit, however, I'm gonna put rudder butts at number one. Uh, I like the way that their jocks fit me and the way that they feel. And the only reason why they're my number one is they would be an easy daily driver if I had more of them. And I really wanna give their briefs, uh, like I said, the, the briefs, didn't fit me they fall down periodically as i wear them so i need to go a size down on those however the jocks that i've worn are extraordinarily comfortable and easy to uh to work with they don't fall down so i think there's a little bit of a variation between jocks and briefs with them 
number two, and it's a close number two, is Nomad Complex, which is quickly becoming my daily driver uh, undie that I wear. I like the, the way they fit. I love the way that they feel. Uh, the They're breathable. They're easy to, to maintain. And they're nice. Uh, in terms of fit, too. Uh, so Rogue Fang's going to come in at close to number three. Uh, I wear them for special occasions. They fit great, but they fit my fursuits a lot better than they fit me. And that's kind of why I bought them. To, to look cute in suit. However, they do fit very well, and I enjoy that style very much. If they were just a little bit less expensive, I would probably have more of the deer or the wolf, because I do adore that style of brief with the hole cut out in the back for, for a jock. And then last is Gab Sheba. Again, it's just Superman underwear cut out, and it's the, the one style, and you wear them, and you, you go, yay, I'm wearing a tail. Um, and I, I hate to pigeonhole them like that. I do apologize. In terms of price, Rudder Butts is going to win because Rudder Butts is the cheapest along with shipping. Uh, Nomad Complex, a close, a close second in that. They have a competitive price to Rudder Butts and their shipping is not that insane. I want to say it's like five or six dollars from Canada to order from them and have shipped to the U.S. I've placed multiple orders with them and... It's, uh, you know, in terms of price and value, they're easily neck and neck with rudder butts. Um, Gab Sheba is going to come in at number three on this one. Their underwear starts, all their underwear is $30. And their, it seems like they're shipping across the board, at least from what I've experimented with, was $11. Which makes it $40 for a pair of underwear. Uh, and then Rogue Fang will be last. However they are overseas and so part of it is their jocks and their underwear are $30 to $40 American uh, 35 euros per pair something like that uh, take a look at the website and with them it's the shipping that's killer to ship to the US but I will tell you this again I've ordered three pair of underwear from them and I've only bought one pair from Gab Sheba I think I've ordered four or five five, maybe six pairs now from Nomad Complex. And I've got a couple from uh, Rudder Butts and I want to order more from them. In terms of feeling, um, the way it makes me feel, like when I wear them, I'm like, damn, I'm sexy. Rogue Fang, Rogue Fang, hands down. I wear those and I'm like, I am the sexiest bitch on the planet. Fuck you. Uh, this is, I, I am raccoon, hear me roar. And oh my God, I feel feel incredible wearing these. I am the sexiest goddamn raccoon on the planet wearing these uh, these jocks. The deer is easily my favorite of any pair of underwear that I own. The deer and the otter. The otter from Nomad Complex. So let me talk about Nomad Complex. They're my daily driver and how they make me feel. Uh, I feel cute. I feel cute as shit wearing them. And the otter, when I put those on star, oh my god, I am a sexy asshole. You know that? I am the sexiest raccoon on the planet. There's no denying that. In terms of feeling with rudder butts, uh, I feel good. I, I like the way they feel. I like the way they make me feel. But I also feel like I'm just wearing underwear that is kind of like tee a furry underwear. It's like you know, having a mildly furry shirt or a furry jersey, you know? No one's really going to bother you with that. They're going to be like, oh, we're... Those are nice. Uh, and then last is Gab Sheba. Again, eh, Gab Sheba. I feel like I'm ripping on you and I do apologize. They are underwear. Um, and I wear them and I'm like, I feel cute. But in terms of what else I have, someone's got to be last in line. And unfortunately, it's Gab Sheba. So did I cover a brand that you like? Did I help you make a decision? Maybe you should go check some of these out for yourself. Check out Rogue Fang, check out Nomad Complex, Gab Sheba, and Rudder Butts. They're really great companies, and we really need to support our creators, our uh, manufacturers within the furry business. Uh, supporting our creators helps keep these kind of things going and then inspires others to do more as well. Drop me a line down below. Tell me what you think. I've put some photos in this video to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So drop me a line, let me know what you know, 
in the comments below. If you're a company and you want a second shot, uh, don't be afraid to drop me a line. I'd love to review your product. Just tell me up front and say, hey, look, you didn't review us. Let us have a chance. I'll be happy to take a look at it. You'll just have to contact me or at least cut me a discount. My favorite out of all of them, Nomad Complex, Rogue Fang, Rudder Butts, and then Gab Sheba. I'm Stardust Raccoon. Keep your stick on the ice.